Hello and welcome. This is a continuation segment for the event called For Siani. This is the third letter playthrough. So I have some notes here that uh, will help me follow along for solving this third letter. So I'm going to do my best to uh, show you and get this all completed. But before we get started, I just always want to do a shout out and say thank you very much to our guildmate Ritsu for uh, all the work she put in and the steps and allowing all of her guildmates to uh, enjoy this event and for all of you watching this video as well. So thanks again. Okay, so where we left off was the clue was I was afraid that if I got there I too would turn into something bizarre hmm would it look less scary if I put some flowers so what we want to do from this point is cut to a video where I show you that you can obtain the blue rose Corolla from a vendor and where I obtain it so I'm gonna unfreeze the screen and we're gonna cut right to that video here we go So, first things first is we're in Velia and uh, in Balanos, and we are going to the gift vendor. And there she is. And I want to show you that this is where you obtain it if you're at low levels. It does cost stamina, and this is how much silver it costs. So, 20,200 silver. I was able to buy it, it's just one, and you only need 50. You do not need what it used to be, which is 150, you only need 50. And to refresh is 9 of uh, the stamina, and I didn't get it that time, so now it's 36, and there it is again. So as you can see, this is a patience game. You need to get it 50 times. You want to visit the vendor uh, every time you have stamina or each day and just stack it up until you get 50 and then you can continue with the quest. There is another way to do it and uh, I don't think that uh, people who are enjoying this quest are at the CP level. To have access to it, that's uh, fighting in Camasilvia. But uh, we're over here in Velia, and this just seems like the easier method to get it. So we're gonna return now back to the uh, continuation of the video and where you need to go next. So we'll say goodbye and get going from there. Oh, we'll do a little congratulations. For those people that collected the 50. <laughs> Here we go. So where we want to go now is uh, the O's Pass in Southeast Calpion. So let's just pull up the map. And there it is. And it was the pass. There it is. And off we go. So once again, uh, very sorry about the loading screens. Uh, I'm doing this for the first time uh, with you. So, uh, you know, hopefully uh, you'll see the exact same thing that I see and it'll go very smoothly for you. Okay, once uh, in the pass, then let's go ahead and bring this up. And we want this guy, the Tangled Miner statue. <clears throat> Once you get there, we'll be able to talk to him, or talk to the statue, or interact with it. And here's where your item comes in handy. A flower crown for the statue. And 
replace the blue rose Corolla. And the quest continues. Here we go. Okay, so let's see, let's uh, go ahead and click on this next part, go to the village, and it will just take us where we need to go, so this is good. <laughs> That's neat. So adorable with you. So... Hamir is looking for water to pour in the well in his village to purify it. And here comes our next clue. I heard that there is water somewhere that can cure disease just by drinking it. If you pour that water into the well in the village, maybe it could purify it. So what we want to do now... Let's go ahead and pull up the map. Let's see. We want to go over to <clears throat> West uh, Valencia. And we want to head to right here, Pujaya Canyon. Alright, now that we are here, you want to go ahead and access the uh, names list that you have. And you're looking for the NPC uh, named this, this person right here. I believe it's pronounced Lichki. Yeah, I'm just going to go with that. Let's go ahead and meet up with that person. So, we're not here to actually talk to him. What I see is if you head to, let's see, oh, I think I just saw it. There it is. If you head to about this uh, spot, you'll see an option to fill water. Let's do that. And our quest continues. <clears throat> All right, so we need to go back. And go back to Keplin. Boy, I tell you, it's really important to pay attention to these things. 
Uh, let's see. That that was. Uh, southeast? Yeah. Yep. Southeast Caltheon. Kepland. There we go. And uh, I do owe you an apology. Uh, as I'm making these videos, I'm very tired. But I wanted to get this done for you guys so you had the information and another source of hey, I need a reference on how to get this done. Well, that's interesting. All right. So let's see. Ah, right. So once you get back to Keplen, let's go ahead and uh, meet up with Patrizio because the well is near him. It's right behind him, as a matter of fact. So let's go ahead and head back there and purify the well. And the quest continues. And we are on to the next clue. Did you find it? The treasure, I mean. Okay, let's see. Right. So what we're going to do, let's pull up the map. And go back to West Valencia again. And Hujaya Canyon one more time. So here we go. All right, once we're here in Pujaya Canyon, we want to go to the NPC named Salmon, the seed, uh, the seed seller for your garden. So we'll head over to him. And just like Patrizio, we're not here to talk to Salmon. We're here to uh, go to the structure near him. So what you're looking for is this object straight in front of me is where we want to go. It's a uh, building and what I'm looking for to the left of him is some way of showing me I can climb it. I think the space bar you can tap up. Ah, there we go. I basically, uh, sorry, I'm on a computer, but for you guys on the phones or tablets, um, it's your way of climbing. That's what I'm doing here. So I just pressed up and uh, it allowed me to climb. And we want to climb all the way to the top. So let's. Ah. Come on now. There we go. <laughs> I think I need to get my keyboard. Repl no, there's a new keyboard. <laughs> Come on now. we need to get to the top so I'll just keep trying there we go okay and once you get to the top 
the treasure chest appears. So, let's see. So let's, uh, see what this shows. <laughs> Wow, nice. Ancient tablets. Very nice. And let's open it. Okay, and we'll click that. Oh, wow. Look at that reward. 50 artisan skeins. I mean, sure, this is worth a lot of silver, but that is valuable right there. And congratulations, the third letter. And it actually says the third letter, not the first letter. But I'm maybe speaking too soon. Maybe in the uh, inventory it'll say the first letter. <laughs> it's, uh, yes, I'm going into my inventory. Okay, and... It is. Hey, how about that? It says the third letter instead of the first letter. Sorry, inside joke if you watch my second letter video where it doesn't say the second letter. So, anyway, let's use it. Confirm. And we'll go ahead and get back out. It triggers the quest line. And let's go ahead and complete this. Ooh, 50 ancient tablets. Nice. At 20 quantity? Hmm, that's a lot. I believe. So we're going to go ahead and hand her the uh, third letter. And delivered. There you have it. We are now at the end of the third letter. And here is our clue. On land, you can see huge water falling from above. A bold person saw it and bought the land right away. So, what I can tell you is I'm going to be doing my outro now. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like my videos, please subscribe, like, share. In the meantime, I'm going to work on the uh, fourth letter uh, right now. And I will see you in that video. You have yourself a great day. Take care. Bye now.